Welcome to Inter International College. My name is Alfredo Martinez and I will be your instructor for this video tutorials Excel 2013 video tutorials. Okay. Um, day one. On the first day, this is what we are going to see. Um, first of all, you guys, I am going to have this particular folder sitting on your desktop. That particular folder is going to contain files that we are going to be using to work, okay, different projects on Excel. Now, I'm going to need you to do the following, okay, here's a folder, one click is going to select the folder. If we double click into the folder, it's going to open the folder and it's going to display all the contents in that particular folder, okay. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and resize this window. You know, I place my cursor right here into the title bar and I left click hold it and drag it and automatically the window is going to be resized. The reason that I am resizing is because this particular folder, okay, um, we are going to make a copy of the folder into the next one. Okay, now in order for us to make a copy, I'm going to bring my pointer into that particular folder and I'm going to right click. I'm going to right click, hold down the right button, and then I'm going to bring it right here into the desktop. The little screen tip is going to say move to the desktop. So when I release my right button, I'm going to have one, two, three, four different options. Options. And basically here, what we want to do is make a copy. Okay. The reason why we make a copy is because we're probably going to... Um, be a little bit confused, we're probably gonna replace one file or etc. etc. So that way we keep a copy. In computers, it's always very important that we keep a copy. Okay, so if we delete or we lost some of these files, we are always gonna have an extra backup into that particular folder, the ECAOL files. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and close the ECAOL files, and right here I have my folder Excel 2013 student files okay now for easy access to this folder I'm also gonna ask you guys to pin that particular folder into the file explorer okay uh, this is a, a very nice option okay that we could pin that program I mean or that folder into the file explorer because normally don't, during the webinars my screen is gonna cover your desktop so instead of minimizing my window if you guys right click into the file explorer, you guys will see your Excel student files sitting right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. In order to pin that folder into the file explorer, it's very simple. All we need to do is click into, left click into the file, hold it down, and bring that particular folder into the file explorer. The little screen, the screen tip is going to say pin to file explorer, and then we let go. Okay. That window is going to open right away and it's going to show me that I have pinned this Excel 2013 file, I'm sorry, student files. Now if I click into that folder, right here I'm going to see all the files that we are going to be working on. Okay, I'm going to close that window one more time. Now I'm going to have access to these folders by right clicking into the file explorer and then clicking into Excel student files. And from there, we are going to continue the, uh, working on. Okay, going to close that folder. Now, one more thing that I'm going to need you guys to do. Okay, we need to pin Microsoft Excel into your text bar. Okay, how we are going to do that? Um, in Windows 8, we're always going to go back to Start Screen. Right? So, I'm going to click into my Windows logo key on the, my keyboard. And that's going to take me back into the start screen. Once I'm here, I'm going to be scrolling to the right hand side. And I'm going to be looking for my particular program, which in this case is Excel. Okay, I don't see the program. I'm going to continue scrolling to the right hand side. Here's the button. Okay, and there's Excel. Okay, now if we only click once into this particular icon, shortcut. It's just going to open a new spreadsheet. Okay, now I don't want to do that. I want to pin that into my text bar for easy access. So every time that I use this program, 
I don't have, uh, I'm gonna see myself, you know, probably five, six clicks. Okay? So, to pin this program into the tax manager, we are gonna right click into that folder, into that icon. We are, uh, by right clicking, we are gonna play this check mark, and we are gonna have this toolbar at the bottom of the screen. Okay? Now, right here, you guys are gonna see these options on pin, from start, pin to tax map, and install, open new window, run as administrator, or open file location. Now, what I want to do here is I want to I want to pin that particular program into my tax map. So one click, that toolbar is gonna close. From here, I'm gonna click to my Windows logo on my keyboard, and that's gonna take me back into the text. Okay. Now, when I say um my Windows logo. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and open my on screen keyboard and I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna right click into and I'm gonna pin this to the text. Okay, this is a program, a feature that we're gonna be using a lot during, during the webinar. Now, when I say that for you guys to go back and forth from the start menu, see that we could just click into our Windows logo keyboard on the keyboard. This is the little button that I'm preferring. Okay? There's a Windows logo key on my keyboard. So click into that and it's gonna take you back to the desktop, back to the start screen, etc. etc. Okay, that's the easiest way to navigate from the desktop mode to the start screen. Okay? Well, um, Another thing, okay, this is the introduction. Um, every time that we use this file, so you're probably gonna say, okay, uh, I'm sorry, I opened the wrong one, I need to open 2013. I'm probably gonna say, okay, let's go ahead and open your Excel 20, 2013. And let's open Unit A. Okay, once we open the folder, we are gonna see different files here. Okay, if we double click, this is gonna open that particular file. Okay? Right now you guys see that I get, I'm getting the ribbon. In your case, okay, when you guys open this particular file, there's gonna be a yellow bar. Yeah, a yellow bar basically tells you that that particular file came from somewhere online. And to protect your computer, that is into that particular file open in the protected view. Okay, just click into the yellow bar, enable editing, and you guys will get your ribbon. It's very important that you guys do that. Okay, otherwise, we won't be able to work in this particular file. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this window. I don't wanna save any changes into that. I'm gonna close that window, and there we are. Okay. Well, so that's how we are gonna transfer the, this folder from ECAOL into the desktop. We are gonna pin the program, I mean the folder into the file explorer. And we also created a shortcut. Having the shortcut for Excel, one click, it's gonna bring me into this window where we could go ahead and start working. Okay, well, thank you. And once again, welcome to International College. My name is Alfredo Martinez. If you guys have any questions, please email me, okay, at US, USA Instructor to apply.com or alpha5 at yahoo.com. Okay, you guys will have an email. Any questions, suggestions, please email me. Okay, well, thank you. And I will talk to you until the next video tutorial. Bye bye.